you for meeting. Certainly. I didn't mean to interrupt your evening, but I think we need to talk about Lizzie Spaulding. Commitment? Something more immediate. I'm thinking I need to break privilege and use the Tarasov Act. Did she threaten someone's life again? She did. My God, and you take this threat seriously. I do. She freely admits her hatred. Along with that comes violence. She's so far from remorse, and she can't control her impulses. I'm afraid I have no choice. At a certain point, silence only enables the patient. Yes, I agree with you. I think it's time for me to warn Olivia Spencer. Miss Spencer. Uh, Hi. I'm Christopher Langham. No, I'm, I I know who uh, you are, Dr. Langham. You're you're working with Lizzie Spaulding. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. In fact, Lizzie is the reason I'm here. Is there some place we can go and talk in private? Hey. Right. Thank you. Sorry about that. You were saying something about Lizzie? Uh, yes. Oh, over here? Sure. <clears throat> Miss Spencer, Olivia, normally the rules of doctor-patient confidentiality would prevent me from talking with a third party about one of my clients, but this is one of those rare situations where the law allows me some flexibility. Really? Well, why is that? I've been working very closely with Lizzie, and she's making tremendous progress, but she still feels that you are the cause of many of her problems. Oh, you know what, Dr. Langham, you're not telling me anything new. <laughs> well, maybe that'll make what I have to say a little easier. Well, let me save you the trouble. She, she's out to get me, or however she may have put it. You seem pretty calm about that. No, I'm not calm at all about it, but after she sent me flying down those stairs, there isn't a whole lot you can say that would shock me. I know better than anyone what she's capable of. Well, I'm glad to hear you say that. I'm also not going to let her intimidate me, either. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to seek her out, but I'm also not going to go out of my way to avoid her. May I ask why? Well, first of all, she'd love to think she got to me. But you said it yourself, you know, she's in therapy, she's making progress, her family has finally admitted that she has a problem, so the situation is under control, isn't it? Uh, no. Miss Spencer, I'm afraid the situation is not under control. Far from it. You've been seeing Lizzie on a daily basis, right? Yes. And she's still not allowed to leave the house. Uh, that's correct. So what could she possibly do to harm me? Well, hopefully nothing, but I still feel obligated to warn you, to take precautions. Just be extra vigilant. Extra vigilant? I... She can't leave the house. I mean, what could she do to me? And I'm planning on going over there, so... I think that's wise. Thank you. Is there anything else? Uh, yes. This is my card. Please feel free to call me at any time and for any reason. Take care, Miss Spencer. Do my best. 